1 Corinthians 6, 9 says that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, the greedy, drunkards, revilers, or swindlers will get to heaven. Many critics claim that passages like this one in 1 Timothy 1, 10, which label homosexuality as sin, are poorly translated. They say the Greek word that appears there, arsenokoite, isn't actually a word at all. In fact, there is no Greek word for homosexual. But in understanding the text, it becomes evident that by inventing the word arsenokoite, the Apostle Paul is calling to attention commands from Leviticus, which condemn a man, arseno, from lying with, koite, another man, arseno, as one would lay with a woman. In the Septuagint, the Greek translation of the Old Testament, the words arseno and koite lay next to one another. Uh, no pun intended. So arsenokoite is the joining of two words to make one new one. The Bible strictly forbids homoerotic behavior. Yet a number of churches have come forward to approve such practices, believing that it's unloving not to. But do not be deceived, Christian. To encourage someone in sin that the Bible says will keep them from eternal life is not loving. You should know the Bible also says that those who approve of such behaviors are just as guilty as those who practice them. James 5.19 says, If anyone among you wanders from the truth and someone brings him back, he will save his soul from death and cover a multitude of sins. We all once lived out the passions of the flesh, but were washed when we repent and believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ when we understand the text.